In this tutorial, we'll make the image darker in CSS. Okay, so I have a simple HTML boilerplate here, and the only element in the body here is an image element. So that's what we have on the page right now. I'm linking to this style sheet. I've given the image a height of 500 pixels. Now let's say we want to make it a little bit darker. Well, the easiest way to do this is simply to use the filter property and use the brightness function. So we can say brightness and one is going to be the same as now. So we can also make it 50% and you'll get a slightly darker image, right? Could also be 0.2, the lower, the darker it's going to be, right? Second option is to actually simply use opacity, right? Let me actually undo that. So, um, this is the original. Now we can say opacity, we can say 0 0.5 and it's actually going to make it um, see through. So, um, depends a little bit on your background on what the specific effect will be. But if the body, for example, has a dark background, so background color, right, the image will become darker as the opacity goes down. We can also make it a transition, right? So if you hover the image, maybe it should become light again. So what you can have is, for example, in the default situation here, filter, brightness, let's say 0 0.5. And then if we hover the image, we can change it to filter brightness one, right? So that's the default. So now if I hover this, it becomes one. Now this is not very smooth. So we want to make it a so-called transition, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS. If you want to work as a web developer, I have a whole course on CSS. Definitely check it out. The link is in the description. So what we can say here is the transition for the filter property. If the filter property gets changed, that change should happen in, let's say, 0.4 seconds. So then I can save here, I can refresh, and now you can see we have a nice smooth effect, right? And it would, it would work the same with opacity, right? Now, sometimes people will simply use all. So any property that gets changed, it should happen in 0.4 seconds. It's a bit easier. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.